So now we're going to look at our main application determinants from this section, which uses a process called Kramer's rule for solving systems of equations in terms of determinants. First, for the two by two case, because that's what we're familiar with for computing matrix, matrix determinants. Be careful. Anyway, for this, what we're going to do is start with our general system. A1 B or A1x plus B1y equals C1 and A2x plus B2y equals C2. We can use that subscript notation if we want, or we can talk about it in terms of A, B, C, D, E, F. Here we're using subscripts. But anyway, we could also think about that in terms of a coefficient matrix, an augmented coefficient matrix, or if we wanted to, a matrix equation as in the last section. But in any case, we're actually gonna go through more traditionally styled system solutions because pushing this around in terms of matrices is actually a little bit more complicated than it's worth. So instead, we're gonna take our system and we're gonna multiply the top by B2 and the bottom by B1, then add the equations together, which will cancel out the y part and leave us with a1 b2 minus a2 b1 x equals c1 b2 minus c2 b1. And then we divide over and we have that x is equal to a mess of constants c1 b2 minus c2 b1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1. And that seems completely worthless and difficult. So we're going to do it twice and get that similarly, y is equal to a1c2 minus a2c1 over a1b2 minus a2b1. And look at that. We have two messes of things now. But pay close attention to those messes of things. Pay close attention to those terms in the numerator and denominator of each. And you should see that if you look at the denominator and then call back that matrix of the original system, noting in particular the coefficients on the right side of the augmentation, left side, excuse me, it's my right, your left, but <laughs> looking at that, we'll be able to see that if you took the determinant of the coefficient matrix, you would get the denominator in both case, both cases, excuse me. And similarly, you can write the numerators of each in terms of determinants, which I'll call dx and dy here. That is c1b2 minus c2b1 is equal to dx, the determinant of c1c2 and b1b2 as a two by two matrix, while dy can be thought of as the determinant of a1c1, a2c2, which would be a1c2 minus a2c1, the numerator for that y term. And as a result, if you want to solve a system, you can write the pieces x and y in terms of ratios of determinants. That is, x is dx over dy, the determinant of C1B1 over C2B2, or C1B1, C2B2 over A1B1, A2B2. And there are a lot of things going over things here. It's easy to uh, be incautious with that and make it a little more confusing than it needs to be. But for Y, we would also have DY over D or A1A2, C1C2 divided by A1B1, a2, B2. And we'll see next how we can apply this in, in an example to solve a system. And this approach here broadly is Kramer's rule.